there's, there are pipes that go all the way back to the far corner. Behind this screen, there is pipe work that goes back to the far corner. And behind you in the balcony, on either side of the windows, there's a small version of what's up front. So there, there's a considerable amount of pipes in this room. Altogether, there are 5,407 pipes in this instrument. So it can create quite a bit of sound. And just basically, the way this is working, when, when I'm not speaking, you can hear the little hissing, the air escaping. Because I've got the organ turned on, there's an electric blower motor that blows air, and then there are electronically controlled uh, bellows that keep the air at a constant pressure. Uh, if you go up inside the organ, there are chests that look like this. They would be longer, and all the pipes on one chest would be identical except for being graded inside, one for each key on the keyboard. One, one set or one rank of pipes would include 61 pipes because there are 61 keys on an organ keyboard. Or there's also the pedal board, which is just a keyboard with larger keys for your feet. There are 32 pedals on a standard organ pedal board. So if you've got a set of pipes for the pedals, it would be 32 pipes. Um, and so what happens, I go to the keyboard, I play a key, and a valve underneath that pipe opens. And since the air is already underneath the pipes, it allows, allows the air into the pipe as it flows. And so very simply, that's how the mechanism works. I want to show you some pipes, and this first one should look very familiar. This is just an open cylinder. It's open from here to here. Um, this, the foot of the pipe, it tapers down. In the bottom is the toe hole. That's where the air enters the pipe. You can see the opening here. This is the mouth of the pipe. And on either side are the ears that direct the sound in a certain way. What you cannot see is that inside here, there is a tongue. When the air enters, it gets to the tongue and that sets it in motion. It begins to vibrate. So from here to the top of the pipe is the resonating length of air. There's the column of vibrating air that determines the pitch of this pipe. Now this pipe is a principal sound. There are four kinds of sound and I'm gonna tell you what the four are. The principal sound in an organ is the organ sound. It's just what we think of when we think of an organ. It's not imitating any other instrument. In any organ of any size, the main body, the largest amount of sound comes from the principal pipes. I'm going to play for you a piece, and you are welcome to sing along because you will know this. I'm going to use only the principal pipes. 